Before the tutorial begins, I want to let you guys know if you go to the YouTube description section, you will see a link to my website, which will have all the files and information from this tutorial, help you get a quick start in case you're having a hard time reading it on screen. Uh, thank you guys very much, and if you like the video, subscribe. A lot of people are interested in how I made my text-to-speech bot for Twitch. Well, I'm first going to show you how it works, then I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to make your own basic version of this. So take a look up there and watch this. Say, I love you. Navit says, I love you. All right, first things first, you're going to want to install Node.js. So go to nodejs.org and start installing. After you've finished installing Node.js, let's open up the command prompt by typing node into our Windows taskbar, Windows start bar. Now we're going to make a directory for our text-to-speech bot, and we're going to call it actually text-to-speech. So we're going to do mcdir. And then we're going to go into the directory by typing cd text-to-speech. And now we're going to initialize this directory. The way you initialize a directory is by typing npm init. All right, now we're going to have a new directory created called text-to-speech. If you take a look for it in your file system, you should see it here. Mine is inside Navit's text-to-speech, and you're going to have package.json available to you. What we're going to do now is open our editor. I like to use Sublime Text Editor, and we're going to create a new file and save it as a JavaScript file. You're going to want to save it inside your text-to-speech directory. We're going to call it index.js. And now we're going to test it out. Let's see if our node install worked. So console.log navits is part. Let's open up our node terminal again to make sure this is working. So again, when you open your node terminal, it starts you at your user directory. CD text to speech. We're going to take a look at what's inside this file. We have index.js in our package file. So what we got to do now to see if it worked, node index.js, Navits is love. All right, let's start talking about, now that we have node built, let's start talking about how to make node work with Twitch and read Twitch chat out loud to you. All right, there's two things we're going to want to do. So I'm going to go back into my text-to-speech directory, npm install tmi.js which is our Twitch library for reading Twitch chat. It's actually a very good library. Go to look it up if you are interested in reading more about it. And we're also going to install npm install say, which is our text to speech library. All right, we've got both of these installed. Let's get to the editing. First things first, we're going to want to include TMI and say in our file. Now what we're going to want to do is include the connection options. Now for your username and password, you're going to want to use your bot username. You're going to want to get your password by going here. You go to twitchapps.com slash TMI and you get your access token. So I'm going to do it myself here. You're going to you need to connect to your bot account. You can't be connected to your primary uh, streaming. Connect with Twitch. You're going to get yourself an OAuth password. I'm going to change mine, so don't try to copy it. You're going to paste it in your password field along with the OAuth prefix. Type in what channel you want to go to. And now we're going to test a quick little logging of messages. So we're going to make a client right now. This is a TMI client. The client's going to connect. And then on chat messages, what we're going to do is we're just going to say the message back to our client. So let's see if this works. Okay, to test if this works, I have got my chat open in another window and I'm going to run our application right now. So index, or sorry, node index.js. Okay, so it's running now. When I type in, this is a message, it should show up right here because I'm logging into the console. And there it is, this is a message. So now we have a bot that is connected to Twitch. Okay, I've gone ahead and changed the code around a little bit. So instead of just reading the message that we have, what we're gonna do is we're gonna output the username of the user, which exists in the user state uh, variable, uh, along with the message. So let's run the program again index.js this is another message bossbot says this is another message sweet okay believe it or not we're actually almost done we just have a little bit left to do so let's use our say bot say dot speak username says message so instead of outputting it to chat it's just gonna say it out loud and here we go let's give it a shot bossbot says never gonna give you up never gonna give you up 
Never gonna let you down. And there you have it. In less than five minutes, I've showed you guys how to build a Twitch bot and how to have it use text to speech out loud. It's actually super easy. I know there's not a ton of secrets to it. You guys can extend this uh, functionality if you'd like. I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe, like my videos, and if you're interested in some Dota 2 gameplay, check me out on twitch.tv slash navits. I'll be back with more tutorials and videos later. Peace out, guys.